Welcome to our first installment this season of Coach's Corner on Steelheads TV. I'm Brian McCormick alongside Steelheads head coach Neil Graham. And at the start of each week, Neil will give us a bit of a state of the Steelheads feel. And starting this week, Neil, you guys are 8-1-1 one one in your last 10 games. You're heading out to Utah to face a Grizzly team that you've beaten five in a row, three straight at Maverick Center. What can you attribute that kind of consistent success against a good team? Yeah, we, we've had some early success against them, but they're a very good hockey team. Uh, they play with a lot of speed. They have a lot of skill up front, and uh, you know they're definitely a team that you, you can't take lightly any night. Uh, they're very dynamic and uh, you know can put pucks on your net really at any time. So you know we try and play them hard. Uh, I know our guys get up for those games, uh, as do they. Uh, it's a very close rival being just down the road in Salt Lake City there, uh, but we're excited to get back at it uh, with two there this week, and uh, our game plan is not going to change a whole lot, but we're going to get in there and be aggressive. By the end of this week, the Steelers will have played Utah five times in a span of 25 days as they look to chase them up the West Division standings. It's been entertaining hockey. Looking back at the last 10 games, I think one of the dramatic improvements for this team has been the second period. You guys are plus nine in the second period over the last 10 games. What can you attribute that stark turnaround, why it's been such a strong asset to your game? You know, I, I, to be honest, I think guys are having a lot of fun right now. And, uh, you know, when guys are upbeat, guys are positive. Uh, there's a lot of good energy in, in the dressing room. And uh, when we get 15 minutes uh, to flood after the first period, you know, I can hear the leaders in the room talking. Uh, you know, everyone's on the same page. And uh, guys have bought into our team concept. So uh, I, I think overall, the the grander scale, uh, things have improved over our 60-minute effort. And uh, the second period has been no different where, you know, we, we've improved and we want to continue to improve. Talk about leaders in the room, one of them for sure is C Captain Carson McMillan, who's seen a real spike in his play over this 10-game stretch. But I think you could argue during this past weekend series against Colorado, Carson McMillan's line was possibly your best for long stretches at a time. When you have that kind of forward depth that you can, with trust, roll your forward lines like that, how has that helped you in what we've seen have been a handful of tight third periods of late? It's very important. Uh, we play in a league where you only dress 10 forwards and 60, and uh, you need uh, depth in your forward attack, and you need to be able to uh, rely on all three lines uh, to contribute offensively and pitch in. And uh, as of late, it's been great uh, uh, with the contributions we've had from all three lines. And as long as we continue to roll and keep picking each other up, uh, we're going to be successful. They say winning is contagious. You've done a lot of winning of late, but you can get the feel of the guys when you meet them in the hallways around the arena. This is a group of players that really is excited to come to the rink every day. Your team is having a lot of fun right now. Yeah, we're, we're a young group, you know, top to bottom, right from the coaching staff to our players. And, uh, you know, winning is fun. You know, that, that's always been the message. And uh, I'm happy to see the guys getting rewarded right now for their uh, constant hard work. You know, even at the start of the year when there were some ups and downs, uh, guys continue to work hard, guys continue to believe. And we found ways uh, to keep improving during those stretches. And, and right now we're not satisfied. We need to keep improving and tightening a few things. And, uh, you know, as long as we're putting the work in, uh, we're going to be successful and continue to have fun. Steelheads and Grizzlies face off at Maverick Center, 7.05 on Friday night. Neil, good luck and thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me on, guys. That'll do it for this episode. Next week, join us. Look for us early in the week for our next episode of Coach's Corner here on Steelheads TV.